Hi Aries, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moonshot Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your February 14th to your February 28th love reading and also general for singles. Okay, so this is for singles. Uh, for those of you that do not know me, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 25 years giving channel messages through my angels, spirit guides and ancestors. And I'm also known on a worldwide basis giving one-on-one -on -one personal readings. You can find me on Instagram if you like. So it's Patrizia underscore 1111. Because over there sometimes I do uh, I do go on randomly and channel and give mini readings. As well, you can find me on Facebook at Patrizia Luna. Okay, and um, I'm also on um, Periscope. For those of you that do not know, it's, a, it's an app. Okay, it's a free app. And uh, you could follow me there, and I'll also do uh, mini readings over there as well, free reading, mini readings. So uh, before I start into your reading, Aries, I do want to make a few announcements here. Okay, so um, right now, I, I am a founder and visionary of my website, and uh, I do have a website that's up and running. And I have many specials and uh, good rates going on with many packages and bundles, okay? Uh, also... I have a co-founder. Her name is Marlena Starr. She is a tarot and card reader and very good one as well. Um, you know, uh, she did she did her own and then she got also taught by me on how to channel and um, how to channel her messages. Okay, through her guides and her angels. <clears throat> and she also she's also an amazing healer. I also have someone uh, who is a shaman that's on board. Her name is Jenny Snow. And she has 15 years of dowsing. So for those of you that do not know what dowsing is, is a person that uh, clears away energy uh, from people, situations. Uh, she does work on the collective. She works on the earth as well, the rivers, the oceans. Uh, she has 15 years of experience and she also has tarot and oracle. She's also a tarot and oracle card reader as well. And I also have two other people, uh, Leslie and Nadia, that are spiritual coaches. And Leslie is my executive uh, assistant at this moment, but she's also a spiritual coach and she's getting a recce one by me uh, next month. So she will become a healer because she has that inside of her. Um, most people, uh, most of the people here have are healers on this earth. Uh, so, uh, and if you want to vi visit the website, it's called www divinetimingsoultribe.com so it's www.divinetimingsoultribe.com uh, please come and visit and uh, you know and see uh, maybe uh, if you like to have a dowsing done or a healing done or if you want someone else to do your card reading you could take Marlena she's very very good and Jenny are very very good at it and I am adding more people towards uh, the website to give oracle and tarot card reading also, uh, for others of you, I uh, want to tell you that I do have another channel, YouTube channel, uh, with my div uh, my divine sister, Marlena, and others that are going to come through as well. And um, it's called Divine Timing Soul Tribe Tarot 1111. So it's Divine Timing Soul Tribe Tarot 1111. Uh, maybe you could show us support there, show support to Marlena, uh, you know, and see how she does in her readings. I usually, what I do is I incorporate whatever readings I have here uh, and I bring them into divine timing, okay? So, and then for others of you that have an iPhone, I am on a free app, okay, it's, which is called uh, Instango. So it's www.instango.com slash Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111. You could follow me there. And uh, right there, I have a, uh, right now I have a special of $5 a question. And... Uh, you could ask me questions about anything in general. Anything could be about finances, love, boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Uh, if you're selling a house, if you're buying a house, selling a car, buying a car. Uh, if you want to ask a question about somebody else, always remember to leave your DOB, okay? Because it's very important that I connect with your energy on that as well. And uh, there's also phone calling and uh, video calling. But that, I have to be online for the phone call to come through. If not, if not, I'm not online, I do not hear the phone call, okay? And I, I usually answer between uh, the same day, two to three days, or four to five days, depending on my schedule. Because again, as I say, I do these videos here. I'm very busy. Um, then I have my uh, my community. That I, I have my, my clients here as well, and my friends. And I also have a primary job. So please bear with me on that. So... Thank you so much for listening to me, Aries. I know you guys are very patient. 
uh, to uh, listen to what I had to, uh, to my announcements. So uh, Aries, when I go into your energy, I was feeling like uh, split in two. Okay, uh, two different uh, two different kinds of um, of uh, messages were coming through. I feel some of you has walked away from someone. Uh, you walked away from something that um, was put back into place. This is what I heard, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel there was a, a message that was going to be coming in very abruptly. And not you don't need to fear it, okay? Because uh, so it's very truthful, okay? And it could be from a younger sign uh, of uh, Gemini. I, I saw air and energy because it was like a swift message, okay? Um <clears throat> Others of you, I feel that you're very angry at this moment. You're very angry within yourself. Maybe not angry at somebody else. Maybe you are, but mostly with your with yourself, I feel. Um, I also got messages of... Um, that patience is... So, so for some of you, not all of you, but for your patience is needed. Okay? And for others of you, I feel that you worked on your patience. Okay? So, I, like I said, the messages were split. Okay? Um... I saw like a new job coming towards you also. I saw that you were going to become stable in finances, but this is a love reading. So um, some of you are not feeling good at this moment, I feel maybe because of the energy shifts, you're not feeling that well, or you feel like you don't have the strength to go through this. Okay, um, so let's get into your reading and see what's going on with you, Aries. Now, um, okay, I got two cards here. This was the first card. This is the second card. Okay. So, Aries, uh, for the singles out there, I want to wish you a happy St. Valentine's Day. Now, if you don't have a date, okay, and uh, please don't feel sad that you have no date on St. Valentine's. Uh, you know, call up a girlfriend or, you know, your friends. Some of you could go out and watch a movie. Some others of you could go and do your nails. Um, others of you... Uh, you could, you know, um, you know, go have a drink or go have, go have supper with your, stay around people that love and care for you and, you know, buy yourself something nice for St. Valentine's, do something for you, you know, maybe go buy yourself some flowers or, uh, go shopping for clothes, uh, you know, take care of you. It's all about self-love. Okay, Aries. So, uh, over here I see that, uh, there's, um, there's, le there's not, um, short-term communication with somebody here. Okay, I feel also that uh, there's someone that's hiding something from you that's not revealing the truth to you. Some of you in the recent past could have been dealing with a woman or a man. It doesn't matter because it's a general reading. You could have been dealing with a air sign. So this is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, someone that's very blunt. Um, sometimes, they're, they, sometimes they could be harsh. Okay, so there's two cards that came out here for you. Okay, and they're not giving you... You know, I feel for some of you, they're not giving you that love that you want. Or they're not coming forward as a friend even to show you some kind of love, okay? Um, because it was, I feel there's information that you still do not know about, okay, Aries? Something is hidden from you. But this is your challenge here, okay? This is your challenge here, okay? Um, Short-term goals not being reached. Something, Someone not saying the truth. Someone not speaking their truth. Someone trying to get away from some, some from something, okay? Or trying to get away. Um, I feel here some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you're dealing with uh, you're bonded to someone in the recent past. It could be this air energy that you're bonded to, okay, or uh, you have addictions or you're bonded. It could be addictions as well, okay, Aries. I do have to put it out there. Um, not everybody has addictions, but some people I do feel that they, they do have addictions or you're bonded by this person. It could be that you're bonded by marriage to this person as well and you're single maybe you've been separated for a very long time this is what i'm feeling here this is what i'm picking up maybe uh, some of you are single or if if you were not married to this person you're you're bonded to someone and there's still information that you do not know about and and a lot of you have uh anxiety and fears over this okay there's a lot of anxiety and fears that you're dealing with so you could also be dealing with a cancer or a cancer or a pisces as well okay We're going to get deeper into the reading as we go along. Yeah, I feel someone is coming in and out of your life. In and out, in and out. You know, they say something nice one day and then the next time they, they disappear. 
Um, it could be also dealing with a fire energy here. So it could be Aries, uh, like you, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. Again, I'm getting a uh, air energy here. I'm getting an air energy that's uh, not balanced. Um, it's there's someone that's not balanced. Okay. Um, they are. Uh, they're not balanced. They're not thinking clearly. Um, maybe they're dealing also with anxieties and fears as well. I do see that. Um, they're not speaking their truth. Okay, I do. I do see that as well. I'm going to take four cards from the Romance Angels, and then we're going to get into your reading, okay, Aries? I feel that right now you're going through something, Aries, and right now we are going in this, uh, February 15th, we are going, uh, we have the new moon uh, solar eclipse that's happening, and uh, so, you know, that's why I see a lot of air. I feel that uh, in the recent past, someone must have been like, you know, speaking very bluntly i feel but right now they're not speaking their mind they're not speaking in their heart they're just speaking they're like they're cold-hearted you know here is sun rising in venus what are the messages here But I do see a new beginning for you. Now, I don't know if this with this person because I have to go deeper into the reading. Something, someone very passionate, very loving coming towards you. Let's go into your reading. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so I did get to keep... Okay, so I follow you finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I do see that here, okay? Uh, I also there The angels are telling me, keep an open mind. Okay, so for those of you that are single or now on dating, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You have to drop the expectation, Aries. Just drop the expectations because expectations bring disappointment. Okay, so do never expect what the person is. Sometimes a soulmate will come around for us in our journey at that moment. And they may not be the ones, maybe sometimes, you know, they may not, like, be your type, okay? But you need to, like, you know, see people for who they really are. And sometimes, you know, um, give somebody a chance, okay, to get to know them. Here you go. You walked away. This is what I felt from the beginning, that you walked away. Or uh, you walked away, <clears throat> or you're walking away, or you're going to... This shows me that you're walking away from a situation that was very emotional, okay? Very emotional. Someone, uh, maybe you were angry inside, okay? This could be also you, that you're angry, um, you're off balance as well. Uh, you're not happy with yourself, you're not happy with the situation, and you're moving away to, to find brighter days, okay? Or uh, this is a person that you were dealing with. I also feel here that you've been working a lot on yourselves, Aries, like really on you, okay? Uh, really like loving yourself, taking care of you, um, very like in detail. I feel like you guys work in detail. This is what the, uh, the spirit guides are telling me, detail. Why is the Eight of Cups saying? The Knight of Wands. Cups. 
master. So you could have been dealing with a Virgo or you're going within yourself. Okay, again, look, I get two times the Knight of Swords upside down. Okay, this could be your energy, okay, Aries, uh, that you are off balance. Um, you know, you're not rushing. Okay, that's another thing. That's a good thing, okay. Um, you're taking time. You're not rushing and going into a situation right away. You're like diffusing it completely. Um, it could be your off balance as well. And I feel that you are taking time to go within and finding the answers. I feel a lot of you are meditating. And it is, it is someone from your past that you are walking away from. I feel like you're going to be walking away from the situation. Um, okay. Or this, or you could be walking away from an, uh, again, it could, if I go well, you could be walking away from a Virgo or also from a fire energy that's younger than you. Okay. But this is what I'm getting here for you. I feel a lot of you went through a financial loss, okay, um, or you're feeling left out completely. It doesn't have to be fine because I am doing a, a love reading, but I really feel that you feel this was also an emotional loss for you, okay. Um, there's something that's there's no victory to it, okay, Aries. I'm gonna put it out there because I always speak my truth and I want to be positive. Trust me, I do. And I am always positive. But if I see something in the cards, I have to be honest with you and tell you, okay? Maybe for some of you, Again, I see this fire energy. I don't know if this is you or um, I'm getting a lot of cards here. Get to the bottom of everything. Okay, so it could be for some of you that, uh, you know, um, you're dating, you're seeing people. And because uh, some of you don't have your finances in your career, so you may not be working, your finances are not going well. Um, maybe some of you suffered an, a financial loss in the past where you lost a lot of sleep. Some of you dealt with a, uh, a, a, a younger sign or the same age, uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay. Um, I feel like both of you are balanced. You, in the past, were working on maybe getting to know each other. You were getting to know each other. Okay, I, I got this card, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you, your bond deepens. Maybe um, when you're both, when because right now you're both like reversed, you're both in delay, whoever this person is, could be any sign, okay? Um, but I feel that you are going to be going through a place where you're going to uh, bond again. I do feel that for some of you. Now, that's not for all of you, okay? But some of you. I would say about maybe like 4%. I don't know if you're feeling confused right now, Aries, because if you are feeling confused um, and you're not in your element, okay, the reading will come out confused. It's what your energy is, is what I follow. Your last but not least, okay, Aries, I would like you guys to view the video more, uh, like and share uh, the video and comment, okay? Um, there's a new beginning coming for you. I feel this is a, a second chance with an air sign here. There could be a, a, there could be a second chance. This is the wheel, for, the wheel of fortune. It could be also monetary, 
or something, whatever that in the past didn't work out with your relationship, um, you might have a second chance here again. All your dreams come true and new beginnings. Yeah, look at that. Okay, dreams will be coming true and you're going to have, you know, the universe, the angels bringing you a new gift. It could be of love, monetary, health, anything. But it could be also this new beginning with this air sign. If it's not air sign, it could be a fire sign because I do have a lot of energies here. So any sign, but you might, whoever this person that you think that I'm talking about, you will get a second chance. Okay, there's a second chance here. And it's going to go better than ever. Okay. I do feel that. There is a new beginning. Because I did see that. An Ace of Wands here. Okay. Oh no. This is the Ace of Pen Pentacles. Sorry. You got two Ace of Pentacles here. There is a new beginning for you. There's a new beginning. Okay Aries. New beginning of love. Finances. A fresh, a fresh start. Okay. Two people coming together. A lot of love and passion here. You guys really missed each other. I do feel that for some of you. <laughs> Look at that. You got the Ace of Wands as well. Oh, this is beautiful. You have new beginnings because I feel there's a completion of a cycle that you had to go through, Aries. You had to go through this, whatever cycle it was. Because you feel like you're... But you're... You had to go through this. To understand what you have. Both of you. Even though you're single. Now this is for some of you again, okay? I know I'm meeting for a collective, but... The signs are really... like for, and for others of you, there is a new beginning happening for you. In love. In passion. Okay? Uh, you could have... You have earth energy. No, sorry. You have... Uh, fire energy, you have water energy. Look at that, you got the three aces. Wow. Three aces. This is like your outcome. Three aces. Okay, you got the ace of cups, ace of uh, pentacles. You got it twice, the ace of pentacles. You got the ace of wands, okay. You got the wheel of fortune coming towards you. And all your dreams, dreams are coming true. Okay, you need to hang in there. Okay, there's something that... You have to go through the cycle. Whatever the cycle is, you have to go through it. But you have every overwhelming love, passion, a gift coming from the universe. Aries, you deserve this so much. Oh my God, I am so happy that I'm uh, reading for Aries because I love Aries very much. Um, they always hold a special place in my heart. Okay, one outcome card. And the rest, you know... And after th this will be received, you will be resting. You will be resting and just trying to heal yourself. Or, But it's going to be a lot of resting done. But look at that, the ace. Three, you got four aces. 11-11, eleven, eleven, divine partnership. Not for all of you, but I'll just giving out the numbers, okay? 11-11, eleven, eleven you got here. Spiritual awakening as well. Why is the two of wands reversed? Why is the two of wands reversed? Okay, hold on. No, these are not cards. I thought these were the cards. No, they're telling me no. This was a card for that. You're dealing with a par divine partnership here. Okay, you're dealing with a par divine partnership. Uh, two people coming back together. The angels are bringing this to you. Okay. Uh, but there's no sure. Right now, something is delayed. Okay, you're not making any uh, short-term plans, like, you know, just getting to know each other. I think there's, like, a delay here. Okay, it could be because of work. Maybe someone is working a lot, or they're not working enough, in, not putting enough effort in you, or you putting in them, or someone else is working here. But I do see something financial coming towards you. We'll see why the Seven of Swords. I don't like this card here. This is your challenge card, okay? So I'm going to see what the hell this is all about the seven of swords here this is a card of someone hiding someone hiding someone not speaking their truth some someone trying to get away with something this is the energy this is your challenge here let's see what this challenge is why is the seven of swords here for Aries
Wow. A lot of yellow here. Beautiful. A lot of yellow. I see a lot of healing. Why is the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician here? Wow. Okay. Aries, I don't know what's going on here. I think you're seeing a lot of people. Maybe you're talking to two different people here. There's something that you're that someone's hiding something, trying to get away from something. Could be someone that is a cancer. Okay. Uh could be a, the soulmate energy that's around you. But right now you're manifesting very quickly. And I feel if you're not feeling well and you're nervous and let's say you're in, you have anxieties or you're angry and you can't figure things out, you're going to be manifesting people that come towards you with this kind of energy. Okay, so you have to be really careful in how you maintain your energy, Aries, because right now you're manifesting very quickly and you could be manifesting many things at the same time. And if you're like thinking negative and talking to yourself negative, you're going to be manifesting more of that, okay? And there's an unbalance here. Your light and shadow is off balance completely. Maybe you're too light and not enough shadow. Maybe you're too shadow and not enough light. Um, but there is something coming towards you, okay? And they're very slow moving, okay? They're very, very slow. You could be dealing with Taurus, Gemini, or Capricorn, younger energy. But they're very, very stable. When they come in into a relationship, okay, they, they are very, very stable, okay, and they stay. Uh, again, like number eight here, okay, this is a soulmate connection. Again, soulmate. But right now, there's an unbalance, um, off, um, some kind of off, something is not balanced here, okay. And also, I would say, you know, if you are talking to someone and your intuition you're, like I say, you're talking to someone and, I don't know, you feel that, you feel in your instincts that someone's not telling you something. Trust your instincts, okay? Because there is something, there's even a new job coming for you where you're going to be financially stable as well. But just know that right now you're manifesting very quickly, okay? And be careful of this energy of the Seven of Swords here, okay? In the recent past, okay, messages were delayed between maybe this person that you were dealing with. Uh, I feel here it was it's a Libra because uh, I see a Libra, but I see in the past there was a give and take, okay, and then messages got blocked, okay. Maybe they weren't, you know, very receptive. They weren't communicating. There was no communication here in the recent past. If you were dealing with a Libra, it could be any sign because this is a general reading. Just remember that. I hope this makes sense to you, Aries. Let me know if this resonates with you a bit. Okay, you worked. A lot of you could have been dealing with a, with a with a Sagittarius, but a lot of you cultivated patience here for this person. Major patience. Okay, um, but I see an imbalance being pulled in two different directions, and I don't see any long term plans right now. That that with this recent person that you had met. Okay, there's no long term plans at this moment. Because it's the late. Why is the Capricorn card here? Why is that the devil card here? Why is the devil card here? Oops. Too many cards. Why is the devil card here? Show me. Um, so you came out in the card, Aries. Okay. Maybe you, um, you know, it could be in your characteristics. Uh, you were like... Because the Aries, like the, the Aries, okay, man or woman, it doesn't matter with the sign, okay, but you are the emperor here. Um, maybe you are bonded to somebody, yes, you could be, a, you could have addictions as well, okay. Or you were too strong-headed, or things have to be your way or the highway type of situation. Because normally the emperor is a very controlling uh, person, okay. Um, or this is someone that you were dealing with that had this kind of energy around you, that they had to be in control of everything, like you couldn't communicate when you wanted to. You couldn't see them when you wanted to. You always had to go by how they wanted to see you. So that's someone that's very controlling as well, okay? Just remember that. 
Oops. And I feel here like uh, you were confused. It was like you, there were so many things, too many options, uh, being too being too much forward and not staying in the present moment okay and that's not good to be like that it's not good to be thinking always about the future and that's where anxieties come out and uh fears okay uh, and having too many options that's not good either like you know you choose one thing and then you go to another thing and you go to another thing you have to stay in the present moment because um that's where all everything is okay why is the devil emperor and the seven um Cups here. Show me for Aries. Okay. I, so I see that some of you were married in the past and you are separated. Okay, just show me this here. Uh, and that's why you're single. You're single maybe because you've been separated for a while now. Okay, and uh, you don't feel stuck anymore. But I do see a new beginning in finances in a home. Okay, I do see something like a re I do see something like a reconciliate like like pe two people coming back together. Like you know, you might be single dating and you know going out with your friends, having fun, and you're separated because you don't know what's going on. But I feel that there's something like you're. Um, I feel that you were stuck before, but I don't feel you're stuck anymore in this circumstance. And there's a new beginning of finances in a home. Okay, or two people coming together. Some of you, uh, you're going to be going through a transformation. Okay, um, or um, or it's a transformation, or you're dealing with a Scorpio personality. Give me one outcome card for the rest of the reading. Okay, so you're going to have to make a decision, Aries. A decision making time for you. Okay. Decision opening your heart and seeing the truth of the matter. Okay, because you're you're here you're blindfolded. You see you're blindfolded. And um for others of you, you're really standing up for yourself. And I see that communication is still off, okay? It's not clear, it's not you're not talking from your throat like from your heart. Both of you have to discuss with each other. Okay, and now for others of you here, I do see that this could be the one that's coming in because I do see a divine partnership and a soulmate here. You already met the romantic partner you seek and uh, getting to know each other, okay? And keep an open mind, okay? And keep an open mind, okay? Because your soulmate might differ from what you expect. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I do have another card here that I'm going to take out from the Sacral Rebel. It's an oracle card with numerology to see what they have to tell you, okay? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from February, February 14th to the 28th. What are the messages? If again, if um, if this does not resonate with you, please look at your rising, your sun, your moon, and your Venus. Okay, um, number seventeen. What is already with you? Look how beautiful this card is. What is already with you? What is already with you? Number seventeen. I'm sure you're gonna get a message through this card. Okay. Um, it's telling you to stay in the moment and look at your blessings around you. What is already with you? Okay. And uh, one more thing I do have. There's a contest that's going on right now on my channel. So whoever views, okay, views, okay, Aries, um, whoever views, likes, shares, or comments the most, and why, tell me why you would like to have the Amira's Love Oracle. They're very beautiful cards. Um, Whoever views the, the channel the most, I will go into the sign and then choose someone from the comments. So I really would like Aries, like, for you guys to go higher in your in your views if it's possible. And I'm sorry, you're not last, you're never last or least, okay? But uh, you are the sign that always comes, uh, that has the less views. Uh, maybe uh, you don't like my readings, I don't know what it is. Um, but if you view the, the video uh, a lot, you know, and uh, comment and like and share... Uh, you could have a possibility to win every month a deck of cards, okay? Uh, so um, just tell me why you would like them. And uh, I feel your energy. And I want to wish you again, a, um, you know, a happy St. Valentine's. And don't forget to take care of you first, Aries. Know that I love you. And I'll see you next month. Bye.